everyone this is x genius again today i will show you how you can create a restore if your nazmat script is hosted in a shared hosting server so let's go uh, so let's go in our website uh, here is a page for a subscription for buying, buying a subscription uh, first let me tell you that our this script is not uploaded in a vps server it's it is hosted in a shared hosting server let's cr let's create a store by taking a subscription so i am giving my store name so i'm taking it with a stripe You can see our store is not fully created your website is not ready yet you will get notified by email when it is ready it means our request has been sent to the admin but our store is not created successfully because it is in a shared hosting server so let's go to admin panel so this kind of uh, website which are not totally successfully created we can find them here website user website user website issues so we can find here the user the issue type and what kind of issue he is getting and his domain name and his domain status we can also uh, check it in details so this is the store i wanted to create though it is not in a vps hosting so it was not created so i have to create it manually by setting a, a database manually we have to first go to our control panel and create a new database manually so let's go Here is our cPanel and uh, we have to go to MySQL database which I have already opened. So I have to create a database manually. So my database is created. Now I have to uh, add a privileged user on that database. So my database was test database and the privilege user is devrobin underscore robin so i have to add it i have to give all privileges for this database all privileges and make changes Our database is created successfully. Let's copy the database name. Uh, then let's go to our admin panel, our script admin panel. Here you can see a option set database manually. So click on it, database name, set your database name here. So you have to put the database name which you have just created so my database name was this one so let's submit it it will take some moments to create all the processes
our store is created successfully so if we go to user manage all users view details where our all stores are loaded this was our store which one we wanted to create let's click on it Here is the store we have just created. So the store is created successfully. So this is how you can create your store. Uh, if, you're, if you are using your uh, script in a shared hosting server. So that's all for now. Thank you.